Hey guys, so I was looking for a way to use apps on my computer and I came across a piece of software that I think you guys might be interested in. I found one that lets you play Android apps and if you want to get into it, some GetJar thing and the Microsoft Marketplace too. The app is right here. It's called BlueStacks App Player. Uh, it takes a little while to launch, I noticed, on my computer. My computer is a little bit older. It's a little store here that aggregates all of the apps. You can click whichever one you want. I'll try Instagram here. I, I've installed just a couple of apps because I was testing it out. And I really like it. So the first one here is your Microsoft Marketplace. And then you have this GetJar thing, which I don't really know much about it. Then you have Amazon also that you can pull their apps from. And then you have Android on the end there. We want to use Android. This is a great way to test if you like the Android operating system to see what other things look like on it and how the apps work. So I clicked on Instagram and I'm going to go ahead and click up here, install. If it was a paid app, it would have a price there. I'm going to hit accept and download. Up in the top here, it gives you a little notification to let you know uh, how it would on a, on a tablet or a phone that it's uh, downloaded, it's installed, and all that type of stuff. If you're on a Mac and it, or if you're on a PC uh, with a touchpad, you can use your gestures on this app. So if I want to bring down the notification menu, I can take two fingers and swipe down from the top bar and it'll bring it up and there's my progress of my download. To swipe back up, I put my cursor on the bottom part there and I swipe it up. And that's a way to where you can use the apps that require more finger movement. Like I was just playing Temple Run and you know, you gotta swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, swipe down. It seemed to work uh, fairly well. So you can uh, go back to apps by clicking up here and this will kind of bring you, you know, back to your uh, little main hub thing, I guess you could say, what they're promoting right now. Or if you want to use uh, this back button down here, it'll take you back to where you were whenever you click the app that you wanted to download. So they do give you a few categories on the top here, like there's a messaging one. There's photos, music, social, fashion, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. And then if you want to get to the apps that you've downloaded, click my apps up in the top left there. And there's my Instagram one. I can go ahead and click that and uh, it'll pull up my Instagram. I'll probably need to sign in for it. By the way, if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, I'm LaneVids. There's always a link down in the description. Hmm. Now I haven't come across this before because all the other apps that I've used have been horizontal and not vertical. So it looks like, huh, I wonder if there's a tool maybe? If you click down here, there's some settings. You can change some settings. I don't know how to rotate the app using this app player. But uh, still, the fact that it's there, it's free, first of all. I'll put a link to that down in the description below, too, if you guys want to go and download this. One thing I use it for is Flipboard. If y'all don't know what that is, kind of like a magazine reading of RSS feeds and social blogs. And that works fairly well if you want more of a simulated magazine type of feel on your computer. And this is just a beautifully done app, and you can swipe to flip just like that. Awesome, awesome app. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Twitter app. I'm at LaneVids on Twitter if you guys want to check me out over there. Let's sign in. If you put your cursor in a text field, it automatically pops up the keyboard for you. Then once you're signed in, you have your Twitter feed right here uh, using the Twitter app for Android, which is pretty neat. Let's go ahead and compose a tweet here. I'm testing this burrito. And tweet. If you want to go back to your home screen, you click the button down there in the middle and it brings you right back here where your apps are and you can go and search out more apps or, or find some more apps that you want to download. So that's the BlueStacks app player. I thought I'd show it to you guys in case some of you guys were interested in what's available on Android and the other marketplaces that are out there. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I definitely appreciate it. And also make sure to check out some of my other videos. As always, I'd appreciate it if you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all those great social networking sites. And thanks for being Shiggity Shank! Who's ready to see what it tastes like?